Hello, my name is Jonathan Payne and I'm a dancer with Birmingham Royal Ballet. I don't normally have such a long wig on and a beautiful beard and a large floppy hat, but I'm playing the part of the woodsman and you will see me at the very start of the performance and also at the very end. At the beginning of the relaxed performance, I'll be talking to you, letting you know what the performance is like and what you're going to see. I'll be introducing some of the characters to help you understand what the story is all about. And I'll be pointing out some special parts for you to look out for. As I put my costume on, I will tell you about the fantastic places you will be transported to. You will go to the rich merchant's house, a mysterious forest and castle, and a glorious ballroom. You will meet the raven and his dancing birds of the air. And of course, you will meet the beast. Now we have wonderful sets and costumes in Beauty and the Beast and fantastic music to make your time at the theatre a wonderful experience. Our story starts with the woodsman, that's me, in the forest playing with my baby fox called a vixen. Suddenly the prince and his friends arrive and they try and catch the vixen. Now I think this is the wrong thing to do so I change the vixen into a flame-haired girl and I turn the prince and his friends into beasts. This is because I want to teach the prince a lesson that he must always try and do the right thing. Next, you will meet some of the other characters. Of course, there's beautiful Belle, her father, the rich merchant, Belle's two silly sisters, and Monsieur Cochon. Monsieur Cochon? Who's that? That means Mr Pig. See whether you can spot Monsieur Cochon with his pig nose on and see whether he can actually make it move in the ballet. Later on, you will see the merchant lose all his belongings in a storm. At this point in the ballet, the stage will be quite dark and there will be flashes of lightning. But this is nothing to worry about. This is to create a mood and help tell the story. In fact, a lot of the ballet happens in a dark, mysterious forest. But at other times, as in the merchant's house or in the glorious castle ballroom, the stage is bright and exciting. The last character you will meet is the beast outside his castle. Now in the story, the beast is a little bit mean to the merchant. But don't worry about that, because the beast, deep down, just wants to love someone and be loved himself. Lastly, look out for why Belle goes to visit Beast in the castle. The beast agrees to spare the merchant's life if Belle goes to live with him in the castle. Would you go and live with a beast in a castle? Of course, it'll be a dancer performing the role of the beast. And I've got one of the dancers here with me right now. This is Brandon Lawrence, and he's performed the part of the beast many times before. Can you describe your costume and what is it like to dance in? At the start of the ballet, um, I'm in, as you'd like, human form. I am a man. And at the end of the ballet, I'm a man. But all of that time in between, I'm in a full head-to-toe bodysuit of fur. When we first meet you as the Beast, you're really powerful and scary. But your character changes during the ballet. Can you describe how your character changes and how the audience will see that transformation? When you first see the Beast, when the audience first see him, he's a very scary character, but I also think he's quite frightened, um, you know, between the spell he's under and um, what he's become. He's quite ashamed of, you know, how he looks as well. So I think he uses that barrier. Um, he uses kind of what he looks like kind of a, as a mechanism to keep people away from him, to keep other creatures away from him. So as the ballet carries on, you will find out if Belle agrees to marry the Beast. You will also see if Monsieur Cochon finally decides which sister he is going to marry. And most importantly, you will see what happens to the beast when I, the woodsman, enter his castle. So I'll see you at the start of the performance. I look forward to seeing you there.